to make a cake topper. Now these are really easy to make, they just take some manipulation. So with a cake topper, you obviously want a huge proportion of it to all be attached to each other. So I've used Samantha font today, I've already gone in and I've gone to advanced and I've already ungrouped to letters and I've then moved them together. And you can see that they're overlapping in several points on both words. But I'm also going to need both words to overlap as well. And as I say, it does take some playing around. And my advice to you is to play while you're building it. Don't weld things and then try and attach both words. Go in individually, bring all your letters together and then bring them down and just start playing with it that way. Once you're happy, you can then weld all your words and you can then go in and weld them together. So I'm just going to weld each of my individual words and you can see here that when I've done that, I've actually ended up with this area all blacked out. So I'm just going to go to undo and I'm just going to move it slightly and sometimes all it takes is a slight tweak and it may then affect when we come to add the two words together, but we'll work that out in a second. So I'm going to weld again. And you can see this time it's done it beautifully. I'm then going to come in down here. I'm going to weld this word together. That was an amalgamation of words there. So I can then bring them down and start playing with them and working out where I want them to be. And I do, as I say, want them to touch on several points. I want as much of my letters as possible to be attached, not only to each other, but also to each word. So I'm happy with that, but I've got a slight issue in that the dot in my eye, when I cut this out on card, there's nothing to hold this together. So I'm just going to go to shapes and I'm going to grab a circle. And I'm just going to reduce my circle down. Now, I could, if I wanted to, get a square and just make a line and make this bigger and do it that way. But I don't want to do that today. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to slice. And I can slice that out now because my word is all welded. If I hadn't welded it, I wouldn't be able to slice because you can only slice two things at a time. So I've then got an option. I can either completely remove my eye or my dot, or I can just attach it there and then weld it on. But I'm actually going to remove it. I don't think it adds or detracts if I take it away. You can do different things with it. You can play with it as much as you like and make it work for you. Different people like different things. I just think if I put it on the end there, it's going to make it look too much like the R. As I say, I could just put it there and add a little line in. Um, I could put it there. I could make it slightly bigger. I'm just going to remove it. So once I'm happy, I can highlight all and I can go to weld. Now, you can see actually very quickly that I've added lots of glyphs in as well. And if you don't know how to add your glyphs in, please do go look at our previous video on that. Now, I might want to add maybe some balloons in there. So I'm just going to go to images and I'm just going to type in balloon. You see it comes straight up and I'm going to click on that and press search and I'm also going to filter it today and I'm just going to go to filter and I'm going to click Cricut access and this will bring up all the access balloons. So I'm just going to have a quick look through. So I'm really happy with that. So again, I'm just going to go to highlight all and I'm going to weld. Once it's welded, that's pretty much all I want to do to it. I just want to make sure that it's the right size, which it is. So I'm then going to go to make it. Now you'll see here we've got project copies and I actually want five copies. And there's a reason for this. So my first layer is going to be in glittered card. And then my second, third and fourth layers are going to be white card. 
And then my fifth layer is going to be glittered card. But with my fifth layer, because it's going to go on the back and I want to see the glitter, I'm going to mirror it. So if you want your back layer to be glittered and you've only got one side glittered card, for example, you are going to want to mirror that back layer. Now, you can use craft foam. Normally, I would only do two layers of card and then I would use some craft foam. Now, this font is not going to cut out in craft foam. Well, I've never successfully cut it out in craft foam. There's just too much going on. You can cut out your own kind of thin lines of craft foam and do it that way. But to be honest, I'm using quite thick card today. So I'm just going to do three layers and layer them up that way. It's up to you. I mean, I've tried cutting this in craft foam before and it just wasn't happening. And as I say, you can get pre-cut squares of craft foam, which you can use, and I've used those before. But today, I'm just going to layer up the card. So we're then going to go to continue. So I've chosen my maker today. Now with my first layer and my fifth layer, which is mirrored, I'm going to cut those out in glitter cardstock. And I am going to use the cut setting glitter cardstock. And then with my white card layers two, three, and four, I'm just going to cut those out in medium cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and get my mats all set up. So I've got my cardstock in front of me, and all this card is from GM Crafts. So I've got my white cardstock, which comes in 10 sheets of A4, and this is a GSM of 200. And I find that this is really sturdy and it cuts well on the medium cardstock setting. So I'm going to use this for my three middle pieces. I've then got different packs of glitter card here. Again, these are from GM Crafts, and what I love about these is the glitter is coarse, you can feel the glitter, but it's non-shed, and that's something that I absolutely love. I hate when you put glitter card in the machine and it sheds everywhere. And so for me, this non-shed glitter card is fantastic. Again, it's A4 and it comes in sheets of 10. Now, you do need to check the website because different colours come in different GSMs. So some of them are a GSM of 225 and some of them are 285. But I cut them all on the glitter card setting using my Cricut and I find that this works perfectly. So I've got some red card, I've got some gold, I've got some green, I've got some silver and I've also got some rose gold and I'm going to use the rose gold today and I do believe that there's a few more colours available on the website at gmcrafts.co.uk. So you can see that I'm using my blue mat today and this is actually my mirrored layer and I'm going to place it onto my mat the same way I would with any glitter card, so glitter facing up, and this is why we've mirrored it. I'm then going to cut out my front piece in the rose gold card, and then I'm going to cut out my three middle pieces in my white card. I've already gone in with my scraper to make sure that this is fully adhered to my mat. So you can see that this is my mirror cut out because it's the wrong way round, but it will work out in the end. So I like to take my middle pieces out and I use my Cricut uh, pincher tool here. This comes in the big weeding tool set. I love that set and I use this tool all the time. And it's great for bits like this because you just poke it in and you literally just take those middle pieces out. And I just find when it comes to weeding card, that really helps. It does make a difference, or at least I find it does. So then to remove it from my mat, I'm just going to very gently go in with my little flat 
Cricut scraper and I'm just going to take my time and gently start removing it and as I say you just want to take your time with this you don't want to rush it there's no you know there's no rush it's not a race and we're just going to very gently start lifting it up from our mat so there's our mirrored piece and I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest out now so you can see I've cut out my front and my back and then I've got my three middle pieces as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue two of my middle pieces together. And I'm just going to use some art glitter glue. I'm using this today because it's got the small nozzle on it, but you can of course use Mod Podge or any glue that you want to use. So I'm just going to glue two of those together now. I've laid two pieces of white card on top of each other and I've gone in and glued that and I'm going to do the same and I'm going to lay my rose gold on top and again I'm just using my art glitter glue to do this. So you can see I've got my third piece of white card stock here and if I turn it over you can then see my mirrored back piece of my rose gold. So I'm going to place that back on the back. This will then sit on top. So you'll have your front piece and we'll then have our back piece as well. But before I do that, I want to put my wooden skewers in. So I've got my wooden skewers here and I'm just going to work out where I want them to sit and then I can go ahead and again I can just glue them in place. Once they are then dry I can then place this over and I can again go in with my glue.